This is a bit of an experiment to uh, try and answer some of uh, the questions with a comment. I mean, some of the questions in the comments, like I'll go, I'm on for Talia's video and there's a comment I want to make. And I want to include, because I'm a YouTuber, I want to include a video comment, not just simply a comment. So this is the attempt to do that. So here we go. Uh, the comment that I'm making is that they're doing homeschooling and he's reading a science textbook and they're doing biology. And I understand that it's at a lower level. But lower level does not necessarily mean or, or gives you the excuse to be incorrect. And I find a lot of times when they reduce the sciences down to the lower levels. And that's what they end up doing, they end up reducing the science. And you're talking about the you know the three most important branches or three the three branches of, of biology, and there aren't really three branches. There are th there are in many ways, they overlap two primary uh, classifications. And one is plant biology and then uh, the zoology. Uh, and, and plant biology can be uh, horticulture, it can be, and, and it can also be botany too. Uh, that's what I say, you, you can't, uh, zoology covers all the animals, that's not a problem. It's the kind of what you call the plant biology. You have two distinct areas of plant biology. You have horticulture and then you have botany. These are two different areas. And the third, maybe argue, arguably, you can argue that uh, in many ways agriculture is in a, a, a third branch of it. But I would like to consider that uh, uh, agriculture is actually uh, part of the horticulture in terms of dealing with plants, you know, with a, with, a, with a plant part of it anyways, because in many cases horticulture also, uh, agriculture also includes uh, dealing with uh, livestock, that's biology there, and on the animal side, that's zoology. But zoology covers all that area, then so you, you have, that's your, 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 your animal area, then you have your plant area, your plant biology broken up between uh, botany and horticulture. Some people would argue, well, then you also have insects, but whether or not you could consider insects to be uh, part of the animal kingdom, and some do and some don't. So the way you differentiate that is you go into two uh, new classifications, not based on whether plants are animal, but rather based on the number of cells. There's a single cell organism, so you have single cell uh, biology, which is typically microbiology, and then you have uh, multicellular biology. That means that anything above the single cell. This includes uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish are, are multicellular organisms, but they're not a single organism. They're not in the same classification as they say fish are. You'll find that jellyfish in many cases are colonies rather than uh, whole singular organisms. A whole single multicellular organism, you know. So these classifications have to be done, and I think you can get back down to uh, uh, the single cell because everything has a single cell, and so people argue, okay, let's do it single cell, multicellular. But once again, once you get down to the single cell range, in order to deal with the single cell, you need to understand biochemistry. And that's the chemistry of biology. That's the chemistry of the single cell. But in order to finally understand. Uh, if you're getting down to that level, you get it down to uh, biochemistry. You'll find that the, a lot of biochemistry, if you go further and find out where it's coming from, you'll find it's organic chemistry. Go down to the nitty gritty of organic chemistry to find out where its origin is, which is particular, uh, particularly um, uh, atomic arrangements of molecules. It's, it's, it's sort of a, a molecular physics, if you will. Well, there you go, you're now in physics, uh, and because you get down to the single atom, you're talking about uh, atomic physics. Uh, in many cases, you'll see a quantum physics within chemistry. And mostly older grades, if, well, the older grades, if you're above, uh, I think you've taken uh, grade 12 chemistry, you get into the different, um, uh, you know, the S orbitals, the P orbitals. 
and so on and so forth. They get into the various different orbitals rather than the simple atom. So anyways, these are the different areas here. And let's see if I can get this, get this done and get this up as an answer to Bertelli's uh, sort of uh, comment about biology. Because you do need to realize that there is beyond the textbook. The, the textbook is really giving a very simple overview and that's all it's particularly doing. Anyways, see you on YouTube.